Hey guys, it's your girl Kindy. Let's be honest, the recent Sonic the Hedgehog games from Sega have been trash. They seem to have this recent trend of wanting to ruin the classic and modern Sonic games which performed well. Sonic Origins, for example, butchered the four classic games of the Genesis era. I grew up with Sonic 1, 2, and 3K on my Nintendo Wii, so seeing these games in a buggy, broken, unfinished state really brought a tear to my eye. Sonic Colors Ultimate did something similar too, as I had also grown up with Sonic Colors on my Wii. It was my first modern Sonic game I've ever played, and I absolutely loved it. But Ultimate absolutely tore it to shreds with bugs, seizure-inducing glitches, and, all and removing the life system. It's all around just a bad port. I think you guys get it at this point. Modern Sonic has been mostly bad. Now don't get me wrong, there have been many exceptions. Sonic Unleashed and Generations are two of my personal favorites of all time. I just tend to like the classic games more. If only there was a game which mixed both games into a blender and poured it out as a perfect blue smoothie. Today, we're talking about Sonic Roboblast 2, the longest lasting Sonic the Hedgehog fan game of all time. Seriously, this thing has been in development since the 90s, and it's still going strong in 2022. And just letting you know, this is of course my own personal thoughts and opinions. If you have a different opinion on Sonic Roboblast 2, I'd love to hear it in the comments. I really like talking about this game, and I like hearing what other people have to think about it. So without further ado, Let's begin. Sonic Roboblast 2 is a 3D Sonic the Hedgehog fan game released in the early 2000s. However, there are dev builds of the game which date all the way back to the 1990s, around the same time Doom itself came out. The game itself was built on a modified version of the Doom engine, similar to the game Quake. While most Sonic fan games stick to the 2D style of gameplay and others use the 3D style, Roboblast 2 uses a blend of both. The 2D art style in a 3D environment works way better than you'd think. The game has a great story, amazing gameplay, and many playable characters and unlockables. It really truly is a great recipe for an amazing Sonic the Hedgehog game. It all just does so much so right all at once. The game plays like a traditional 3D Sonic game. Ha yeah, my ass! This game plays completely different to any Sonic game ever released. It really nails the 2D platforming style of the classic games and the 3D speed and action of the modern games blended into one. With over 25 different levels, over 5 playable characters, and plenty of interesting mechanics, there's really something for everybody. The game gives an amazing variety of level scenery, character abilities, and bosses too and I haven't even begun speaking about the special stages. The special stages are a rendition of the game Nights and Dreams for the Sega Saturn. The way you enter the special stages is something I really enjoy too. Special stages are entered by collecting emerald tokens hidden throughout each level, and once you reach the end, the tokens are used to enter the special stage. The more tokens you collect, the more special stages you do at once. The special stages are the most fun I've had in any special stage in any Sonic game. It really makes me want to check out the game Nights and Dreams. They give a perfect mix of challenge and fun, something I've only ever seen in Sonic Mania special stages, and a select few other special stages from, from the classic Sonic games. It sure is a shame there's only so much content in the game, and eventually it'll be dried out, leaving you with nothing new to do. Is what I would say if this game didn't have such an amazing and large modding community behind it. The modding community behind Sonic Roboblast 2 is one of the biggest I've ever seen. As I mentioned earlier, the game is built on a modified version of the Doom engine, so modding the game is very easy and simple to do. The modding community behind Doom is already pretty large due to it being such a popular game and the engine being easy to use. 
So uh, by a result, Sonic Roboblast 2 would have a similar modding community. The mods have lots of interesting content that expand the game and sometimes even transform its genre. Take a look at these two mods I have which work amazingly together. The Sonic 06 level pack and the modern Sonic character mod. Finally, it gives us an actually playable version of Sonic 06 to hold us off until Project 06 is finished, which I am very excited for and I hope to one day play it on my channel. But let's say maybe this pixel art style isn't your cup of tea. Maybe you want something more recent, not something from the Genesis, maybe something from the Sega Saturn. Not 1992, more 1999. Boom! Polygon models. There's plenty of mods which support this polygon style and expand upon it. Plus, come on, it's low poly Sonic. We need more low poly Sonic in our lives. Sonic R2, where is it? Sonic R port for the newer systems, where is it? We need this Sega! Get on this! As I mentioned earlier, there are plenty of mods which can transform the gameplay entirely. One example is the Samus Aran mod. This transforms Sonic Global Last 2 into a shooter game similar to the Metroid Prime games. Finally, Metroid Prime 4. But, let's say maybe you're still not convinced that this game is as much as it is. Maybe you need something more. A different genre. Two, maybe. Try the Persona mod and Sonic Robo Blast 2 card. The Persona mod turns the game into an RPG similar to the Persona games. And Sonic Robo Blast 2 Kart turns the game into a racing game similar to Mario Kart. This mod has a bunch of modding capabilities too, just like the main game. With plenty of character mods, gameplay changes, maps, and even a Kartless mod. Mmm, Sonic R2. The game also has plenty of nice character mods. While there are already over 5 characters in the game, there could just be more, such as Silver the Hedgehog, incorporating his telekinesis and psychic abilities into the gameplay really gives it an amazing twist. I just love going around and throwing badniks at each other and flying across the level. And then there's the Kirby mod, which gives us a Sonic and Kirby crossover we wanted for years ever since Smash Bros came out. Finally, there's the Super Mario mod, which gives us a Super Mario Galaxy 3 we've been wanting for years. In a Sonic game, no less. Even in the special stages, Mario has the flight suit from Super Mario Galaxy 1. So in conclusion, this game is truly something wonderful. What started as a simple Doom mod turned into one of the best Sonic fan games of all time. I'm super excited to see where this game goes in the future, and what else will come out of its amazing modding community. Overall, I give this game a 9 out of 10 star rating. It's absolutely wonderful, and one of my favorite fan games for any franchise. I really recommend you guys check this game out, and check out the hundreds of mods for it too. It's truly a great game, and shows that the fan community is really carrying the Sonic franchise while Sega gives us the mediocre crap they've been giving us. So, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, let me know you guys want to see me do next time, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello? Little Timmy's stuck in a well? My wife is cheating on me again. A star fell down from the heavens? Oh. Well, I guess I'll go check it out.